Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I just got back home not too long ago from running errands, so I do have like a light running around doing errands kind of makeup beat going on, but I want to amp it up a bit because I'm going out later. So I pulled out my Morphe palette, which is why I turned on the camera. If you watched my Christmas present haul, I got this from my nieces and I haven't used it yet, so I'm excited. All right, so first thing I'm gonna do is freshen up my brows because I've had this makeup on all day make them a little bit stronger. I actually need a new brow pencil, look. That's all this, can you see that little nub at the, that's all. So I will probably make a trip to the drugstore tomorrow to get a new brow pencil. You know when you make a trip to the drugstore to pick up one thing you never do, so I'm kind of low-key excited about it. Maybe I can get a new lippy as well. This one is actually by e.l.f. It's the brow pencil in deep brown. I'll link it below. I actually really like it, to be honest. I just, um, like, I don't really see e.l.f. products that much, like, in store. We don't have Target here. So, so that leaves me with online shopping, which, of course, I love. You guys know I'm an online shopper fanatic. But with e.l.f., because their prices are so cheap and usually I only need one thing, like, I'm not going to buy an eyebrow pencil for $2, you know what I mean, and spend $12 to ship it to Canada. It doesn't make sense. And I'm not really trying to buy, like, $50 worth of e.l.f. product, you know? So pretty much I just buy e.l.f. if I happen to see it. Sometimes you find certain products at Old Navy here which is kind of weird, but um, I'm not really trying to go to Old Navy either. <laughs> so yeah, I think I'm just gonna go to the drugstore and find a different brand of eyebrow pencil, but just for the record, I do really like this and I love that it has the spoolie on the end. Okay, so brows are done. Let's move on to eyeshadow, my Morphe palette. Morphe 3502 Second Nature Palette. It's pretty, it's mainly neutral. It does have some nice reds and oranges though. It's a combination of matte and shimmer. What excited me the most was this bad boy down here because I actually don't have a black eyeshadow and I've always wanted to do a Joanna Gaines inspired look. I think I've only ever seen her in black eyeshadow. Like I don't think she wears anything else. So that's what I'm about to do y'all. I'm gonna start with this color down here called Brave. It's kind of a warm chestnutty color. What kind of, this is a Sigma, you guys, I really like Sigma brushes. Honestly, I've had my Sigma brushes for years and they hold up well. Like I've washed them, I was about to say a million times, but you guys already know I'm lazy with washing my brushes, but I have washed them quite a few times and like they're fine. They hold up well, still soft. They don't fray, they don't break. I have other brushes that like they've broken off and I still use them, but I really like Sigma brushes and I've only purchased from them once literally because they just last. I'm gonna go in with this lighter color up here. What's that called? Um, it's called Contour and I'm just gonna use it to blend that out a bit. So just blend out, just blending out the harsh lines. Okay, so now for the fun part, black y'all. I'm black y'all and I'm black y'all and I'm blackity black and I'm black y'all <laughs> Do you guys remember CB4? Oh, I'm showing my age. I was a child when that came out and my mom took me and Nadine to see it and not knowing that it was so vulgar You guys we got in trouble <laughs> We didn't know You know mama daily old Jamaican Christian woman, so She was mad she was mad mad I actually really love my Fixer Upper, the show. I love Joanna Gaines. I love them as a couple, Chip and Joanna. I I think they're one of the, I think they're the only couple that I've ever said relationship goals about because Chip just seems to genuinely adore her. Like I know they're TV personalities, but I believe it. I believe what they're selling, you know? And they seem so real. Plus they have like 17,000 children, so I just believe them. They're, they seem so genuine and Chip just seems to honestly, truly adore that woman. And I think it's beautiful. I really do. I'm not the most, um, outwardly affectionate person but i do love love you know i'm not like a grinch i'm just not super vocal about my affections 
I actually don't even like when people say relationship goals about me and the boy because we're not relationship goals. Like, <laughs> you know, we have our trials and tribulations just like any other couple. But like half the time I legit want to kill that man, you know? It just so happens that I love him. Like it just so happens that we love each other, but we like go through it. You know what I mean? But Chip and Joanna... <laughs> Chip and Joanna seem like they just, they got it. They nailed it, you know? And I love that. Of course, I honestly don't believe any relationship is perfect. But if I had to guess, they're probably the closest to it. The only other um, couple that I remember commenting, I think I commented on their Instagram with that term, re relationship goals, was, um, was in the fro and her now fiancé, I think his name's Alex Harrison or something like that. Um, but she's a vlogger. She's a UK vlogger. And it's not so much their relationship that I, I really meant, even though I use that term. It's kind of like their lifestyle as a couple because she's a very, um, she's a high-end, you know, beauty vlogger. And they get flued out all the time and they work together. Like they both work together, you know, on on her brand so they're in that way they remind me of me and the boy because we both work together on our businesses and we literally spend like every day together so they re remind me of us but higher end so <laughs> you know i wouldn't mind getting flued out myself with the boy so that's why I kind of look at them as work relationship goals. How about that? I should have said work relationship goals on their um, on their Instagram, but Chip and Joanna, I just just relationship goals. Period. Like they the real they're the real deal. I'm also just a fan of HGTV, like you know renovation shows. But I think Joanna Gaines to me is one of the most talented designers um, in their lineup. Everything, every house she touches, every house she touches is gold like i just love the after and i usually would not change a thing i think i've only seen one episode where i was like meh but other than that she nails it every time um my second runner-up would be i can't remember their names they're like this little country bumpkin looking couple super cute the show is called masters of flip but i can't remember the actual couple's name marley shut up hold on guys okay sorry about that someone was at the door and marley thinks she's a pit bull but she's not marley you want to say hi come here this is marley she looks like she's homeless she needs a haircut so bad y'all right marley but she's a cutie pie she's half chihuahua half pomeranian and she thinks she's not that anyways what was i saying oh masters of flip let's see <gasps> You guys, Canadian born Dave and Courtney Wilson. They're Canadian and they met in Nashville. Oh, a few years later, they were making a family and music together. Dropping their solo careers to perform as the Wilsons. I didn't I say they look like country bumpkins. They're country singers. I knew it. Um, I like her a lot, too. She she can design her ass off. She does really, really good work. So if I ever had it like that, like if I had money, money, <laughs> I would either hire Joanna Gaines or Courtney Wilson of Masters and Flip to do my home. I think my look is coming together. I'm going to add some black eyeliner underneath my waterline. Okay, so now I'm going to take this little smudger brush. It's a no-name brush and put some black eyeshadow under here. Ooh, Joanna, how you go out like this every day, girl? But for some reason, it just suits her. Like, it just suits her. I don't think it suits me. I look goth. She just looks pretty. I already have mascara on, like I said, but I could touch it up a bit. This is the L'Oreal Telescopic Carbon Black. This mascara is so good, you guys. I love it. I love it so much. I still probably have a couple weeks left of mascara in here, but after it's done, I'm gonna come and try this out for you guys. It's the CoverGirl So Lashy Blast Pro. It's in jet black, and it was sent to me by one of you, one of my lovely tonettes, Reggae Latte, shout out to you, girl. 
She says it's her favorite mascara and she thinks that I'm gonna love it because she knows I'm a lash girl. So I'm excited to come back and try that. She wears blush. Not really a pinky blush, like it goes with her skin tone. She's kind of olive-y. So I'm gonna use my Milani bronzer because that goes with my skin tone. I'm gonna go with a little bit of the Master Chrome by Maybelline in Molten Gold because she does look dewy most of the time. Her lips are neutral, always neutral. I'm gonna use Fenty Beauty Gloss Balm in Fussy. All right, let's slap on a wig and see if we can pull this all together. All right, she has that, you know, super black, super thick hair, super straight. So I'm gonna put on my Keisha wig, which is the closest thing I got. Kiki, do you love me? Are you riding? Say you never ever leave from beside me. Cause I want you and I need you. And I'm down for you, always down for you. Black Joanna Gaines, let me. HGTV, come on. Me and the boy, we need a show, come on. Ironically enough, I, I've i owned three properties in my lifetime thus far and I've renovated every single one of them. And I think I'm pretty good at it. If you ask me, I could, I think I could replace Joanna if you give me those budgets. Okay, so this is actually the Keisha wig. I don't know if I mentioned that. Available from TonyDaily.com in the color number one. I will be restocking her as well as introducing a second color. So if you like her, stay tuned for that. Okay, one of the other things I've noticed about Joanna Gaines that I actually love is her earring game. She likes big earrings and that's amazing because you guys know I'm kind of like the earring lady. She wears a lot of rectangular earrings. These are actually from my website. They're called rectangular and they were inspired by her. You guys can tell how much I love her. So I'm gonna put those on. Here is my Joanna Gaines look. You know what, guys? I was skeptical when I started that eye look, but I feel like the wig and the earrings kind of brought it together. I think I look like the black Joanna Gaines. So I hope you enjoyed this. I enjoyed doing it. I feel pretty. And um, I guess I'll see you in the next video. Peace.